Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog. It is bright and early and I'm about to head to the gym and I'm just like completely bumming it today. I woke up really bloated and I think it's because yesterday was Easter and I ate a lot of junk food yesterday and a lot of candy. I just woke up super bloated and I didn't feel like wearing like my usual sports bra like tight jacket because I'm like so bloated. But I still have to go to the gym because Mondays set the mood for my whole week. So if I don't like kickstart Monday, then honestly, like I will just have a bad week. So we're still going. I just decided I'm gonna wear this big giant hoodie and cover up my belly bloat because I look like I have an announcement to make right now. Just got to the gym and today is supposed to be leg day, like Mondays are always leg day, but I'm actually gonna rearrange my schedule again this week like I did last week and do legs probably tomorrow or Thursday because I'm really bloated and I just feel like I don't want to waste what could be a good leg day trying to do it today when I'm like really bloated. I just kind of want to do like a shorter workout today. So we're going to hold off on legs. I'm going to do upper body. Some biceps and triceps. I should be done in like 45 minutes. So let's just go get this over with. Alright guys, I just finished at the gym and the hoodie and the hat had to come off. I was sweating so bad. I didn't even care if I looked bloated at that point. I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot be suffocating myself in this hoodie. I don't know how people work out with hoodies on. Chad used to do that all the time because it like promotes sweat, which is good to like, I don't know, I guess burn more calories or grow your muscles. Like it's good to sweat, but I can't take it. And you guys know I hate the feeling of sweat, so. I'm back home making some oatmeal for breakfast and then I have to get to work. I have a lot to do today. up all of the orders that came in over the weekend so I'm gonna take these to the post office and after that I'm going to get a spray tan so here's my glorious spray tanning outfit a nice loose oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters and these Nike shorts this is it guys this is style dropped off the packages and now I'm about to go in and get my spray tan I was gonna wait until tonight but since I was already taking a shower I was like, let me just shave and exfoliate now and just go get it. And then I won't have to sleep in it overnight. I'm back home and I'm making myself a coffee at home. Have it be known. Could have went to Starbucks. The Starbucks is literally right next to the tanning salon. But I am making an effort to drink Starbucks less to save money. So one of the things I'm really trying to work on for the month of April is my budgeting because I actually just found out how much I have to pay in taxes for all of the income I made in 2020. 
And it sucks paying taxes when you have self-made income, but this year I'm gonna be paying quarterly taxes so it won't be as much all at once. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanna start budgeting a little bit better and stop spending unnecessary money so that I can build my savings account back up to where it was before the big tax payment. So I got this budget planner on Amazon and it's just called the Clever Fox Budget Planner. I just picked it out because it had really good reviews and it seems really detailed and structured. So I'll kind of show you guys what this looks like and where I'm gonna kind of start. So you start out by writing down your financial goals. So I'm gonna start by doing that and then it even gives you a little mind map. And then there's a strategy section and a tactic section. So it says skills that you need to learn to achieve your financial goals and then money affirmations for wealth and prosperity actions I'll take to earn more money and actions I'll take to cut my expenses. So these kind of things really work for me. Like when I put things out on paper, I feel like it's in my mind. And then it has this year at a glance, which I think is great because in the month of July, I have a family vacation. So I can just pretty much plan on spending a little bit of money then. And you can kind of plan out things like that. And then everything else I believe is broken down by month. So each one you have like this month's goals, checklists, income savings. It gives you a little like monthly calendar view. And then here's like your budget section, which I just love how this is all written out for you. And then it even gives you space to write other things down. And then there's a whole expense tracker. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using the expense tracker, maybe just for like regular monthly bills, but I'm not gonna write everything down that I spend because I can just look at my bank statement for that. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that part, but I really love this monthly budget review. So then you can kind of review your month and color in this little wheel and just like analyze everything that you spent your money on. So, and then it starts over to the next month. So that's kind of how this is laid out. I'll link it in the description. It's available on Amazon. So I'm gonna start filling this out because we are getting this going for the month of April and hopefully I'm gonna continue for the rest of the year. Okay guys, well it's almost 10 p.m. now and I pretty much just had a chill rest of my day. I got some stuff done on my computer. I have something really huge and exciting coming very soon for the boutique, but I can't say anything yet and you'll understand why when I do announce this, but I'm really hoping to be able to make the announcement at the end of this week or definitely early next week. Um, but we have a very big and exciting thing coming. But now I'm just sitting in bed and I'm going to play on my Switch. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing, honestly. I just like, I'm so overwhelmed with it. I went on there like last week and I like took down my Christmas stuff and I started like putting up some spring stuff, but I go through phases with Animal Crossing and I'm just like not into it right now, but I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey, which is really fun. So that's been kind of my game lately. I'm gonna play that for a little bit and then read my book and go to bed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I had such a relaxing morning this morning. I've honestly been just taking my time and I didn't go to the gym today even though I technically should have but I'm just kind of listening to my body this morning and I really didn't feel up for it. So I'm giving myself the day off. And I've had a pretty chill morning. I've been under so much stress the past several days because of this big announcement that is coming. Um, it's just been so much work that I'm literally like breaking out even though you guys probably can't tell because I just packed my face with some makeup on, cover that all up. <laughs> um, but I'm like breaking out and I know it's because of stress. So I thought I would just kind of take it easy this morning even though the gym usually helps with stress. But you know, sometimes you just don't feel like going. So. I'm about to make a coffee. I'm gonna do a pour over coffee. Chad's been really into making pour over coffees lately and they're always so good when he makes it. So I'm gonna attempt to do it myself, but he gets like super precise about it. He literally weighs out the amount of water and the amount of coffee that he puts in the cup on a scale as he's like pouring it in in grams. It's like insane. So I, I don't think I'm gonna be like that crazy about it, but I'm gonna make a pour over coffee. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, it's a little bit later and I just set up my little backdrop. I'm actually in my kitchen. This is my kitchen counter right now. I had to improvise because my office is a disaster. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. So I got this peach colored backdrop, which I love the color of. It's really not picking up very well on camera, but I promise you it's like a really pretty, like nude, orangish peach color and then I have this cute little vase with this little fake plant in it and then I have this seashell dish which I actually am going to pour this sand in and then I'm going to put some seashells like around it and then I'm going to try and get some really cute aesthetic photographs of these really cute earrings that are going to go live on Friday. It's so funny to show you guys the behind the scenes because then when you actually see the pictures they look like so professional you would never know that I'm like sitting here set up on my kitchen counter with a bowl of fruit holding down the backdrop. <laughs> it seems so amateur but the pictures turn out so good. Gymshark order came in ironically in the same video that I'm over here talking about budgeting. I ordered these two things along with the other things I showed you guys like a few vlogs ago, but these took forever to come in for some reason. So I just got this cropped pink t-shirt, which is so cute. And Gymshark just came out with these cheetah print leggings and I'm just obsessed. They remind me of my Lululemon ones. So I was like really, really excited about these. When I saw they hit the website, I was like, okay. I definitely need these and I thought they'd look really cute with this pink top, especially because I never wear any color at the gym. And I told you guys I'm trying to get some like colorful workout wear just to spice up my wardrobe when I go to the gym. I just always wear neutrals, but oh my gosh, I feel like this is gonna look so cute together. So I'll link these two things in the description. Well, it is much later now and I am about to fall asleep. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.